hello everybody this is Elissa from Mank Arts and Crafts and today I have an unboxing for you and I'm super excited for this because I've been waiting for this right here there's three kits in here I'm only gonna unbox one of them for you but I wanted to get into it and I'm super excited so this is going to be from Jaded Gem Shop ah uh, and it looks awfully small and that is because I ordered some like I tried to order the smallest sizes I could on this but there are three canvases in here and they are very well packaged this is a really really thick heavy duty black plastic and she like went all out uh, well, uh, they went all out and there is like very sturdily taped good to go on that aspect and here we are they are securely like I like this they are very securely packaged and taped together there are three kits here. Uh, like I said, I am not going to show you guys uh, all three kits because, you know, gotta save the suspense for future unboxing. Boxings. Uh, I'm just gonna go over one of them with you guys. All right, so we are gonna be doing this one right here, Usagi City. Uh, and this is going to be what I am doing for Sailor Summer. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and break into this box. All right, so you can see here you've got the branding It says jaded gem shop right there uh, I had to take the plastic off so you didn't see me struggling with the plastic uh, The white box on the top right here I love this because then when if you stack things I always stack mine on end either vertically or on their side but with regardless of which way I do it you always see uh, the name of the kit on the side or in this case you've got the photo so I wouldn't have to worry about it for the other two kits because boom they've already got it I don't have to label them. they've got what I want right there uh, so that's perfect for me and how I do my storage for my kits and now we are going to go ahead and open us up and in we go so you've got your green jade green washi tape which is gorgeous. We've got our drills, boom, right here. Ooh, I like this. It's a little Ziploc baggie. I like that. That is nice. That is cool. I like. I got this in rounds, which I'll go into in depth. But I like no like awkward, weird like flippy, flippy of that weird stickery um thing. Okay, I like. I like. Uh, and you do get a couple, I think this is just a couple sheets of the release paper. And her release paper is double-sided, even though one side, uh, yeah, they look about the same. So, yeah, it is double-sided release paper. Mochi's got to investigate. So, we have our helper. Uh, and then as I unwrap this, um, and it is, you get one of two and two of two. So, here are the drills. But I just can't get over this. This is such a cool thing. Like, I like these little bags. Normally... I kit up all of my drills and I put the, oh, as I go smacking into the camera, I put the, um, as I'm kitting them up, I put these into like the, the bag that all the drills come into just because it's, you know, that awkward, weird plastic thing that's like folded over and, you know, sticks the way all of the kits come. But these little baggies are going to be perfect because I'll reuse these little zippy locky bags because they're like, I, I like that. Those are like perfect for like when I'm traveling and kitting up little things like my my paint gems. I'll use this little bag to do for my travel for paint gems and whatnot. So I'm gonna leave this turned on its side like this. Uh, I elected to not use a kit because I didn't need a kit. I have all of the kits, so I purposefully was like, no, no kit for me. Did not want it. Did not need it. Um, cause I believe that's an option you can do on her website. Uh, you can say if you want a kit, you have to select that you want a kit. I was like, I don't need a kit. I wish more shops would do that where they let you choose whether you want a kit or not. Because I personally, I have enough, I have like an entire box full of all of these kits from all of these different companies that they just go straight into the kit, into the box. And I don't even open them and I don't even use them. Um, the thin washi tape like this, I actually do use. So I use my pretty washi tapes that I pick. I use that to go around the perimeter. Uh, if there's any like over a spray like this, yeah. So like that, I'll use washi tape to go around the perimeter, which I also like because I'll pick a complimentary washi tape to decorate my canvas. Uh, and I'll do something that looks good with the canvas and that's what I'll use. And I'll be like, oh yeah, that's pretty and it goes. 
um, with the canvas I'm doing, and then I will use a thin washi tape like this, this size uh, washi tape to de to like split my canvas in half, and then to do sections, rough sections, because I don't do true sections, but I'll kind of like give myself a region to work, and it just makes it easier so I don't have a massive sheet, so that way I don't have to like peel the entire sheet of, of plastic back. I can have the washi tape as a boundary so I know, hey, this is my border of where I'm slicing the, the plastic and peeling it back up to work in that area. So that's what I use the thin washi tape for. So I do like this thin washi tape, um, but I'm glad I don't have a toolkit. So that's why you don't see a toolkit because I elected no toolkit. And then you have your sticker, um, your sticker sheet. So this is the image that I am doing. This is Usagi City. I'll have to, I can't remember the name of the artist. Actually, I was gonna say, I'll have to look it up for you guys, but I do have it written down in my book. It is by uh, Tres Gatos, Tierra Gatos, Tres Gatos, I think that's how it's gonna be pronounced, but Usagi City. And I got it 40 by 70. Uh, it's pull, port glue, full drill. Uh, and as you can see here, it is 39 colors. And I did go for the AB pack uh, for this one here with the charted ABs in it. I did pay a little bit extra because I like my ABs. And as I look at it and kit it up, I'll decide if I'm going to go with any extras or I'm going to leave it as is when it comes to the ABs. Uh, I'm planning on doing this for Sailor Summer. And I thought this was going to be a super cute image. So you can see there, that's the image that I'm going to be doing. And I like that this is a nice large image. So 40 by 70, three ABs, Jaded Gym Chop. And I like the, this is like the perfect size. I love this size for the stickers. Uh, those are perfect. They're already individually cut and it gives you the quantity that you should have for each color uh, as you come down with our ABs right there at the bottom. And what I love is it gives you all the extras for these stickers. Cause then when I'm kidding up or doing kits that don't come uh, with stickers or if I'm working with additional, like I'm adding bling to a kit, then I'll actually use these extra ones to write the additional bling that I'm gonna do right on there, which is nice. So this is our sticker sheet. Now we are going to go ahead and look at our drills. I'm gonna do the drills first and I'm gonna flip, well, yeah, I'm gonna do the drills first. I almost was like, no, we'll go ahead and look at it. No, we're doing drills first and then we're gonna look at it. Ah, I know, ha ha ha. Prolonging the torture. I'm just excited. I haven't even looked at the image. You guys have seen what I've seen. I haven't even looked at it. So this is gonna be drill pack one of two. Uh, and of course it's labeled here so you can see um, Jaded Gym Chop here is like gonna, and this will correspond with what was on the box and what's on the front so you can know, hey, this is what we're at. So here you've got 38, 37. You've got uh, 38, 36. I will have to actually sort these because they're, uh, some of them are probably gonna correspond with some of those just to make sure. 963, 775, it's a beautiful color. 967. This is 3825. 153, which is beautiful. There's more 963. I'm just gonna put that right over there. 797. That's a beautiful blue. Little four baggies of it. Uh, you've got your 996, which is a pretty color there. This is a 798. 778, 758, 778 again, 155, I don't think I've done a 155, a 155, which is really pretty purple, and that was in the first bag. Now we're going to roll out this second bag, which has a lot of drills. Ooh. But I like that all of the colors are in like little strings, which is nice because then I don't have to be like, how many? So 3607, that's a really pretty pink. Um, 3354, 603, there's four baggies there. 796, 819, 718. I feel like there was already a 718, but 820. It's a really pretty color. 3838, that's a larger bag. Ooh. Oh, there's like, I'm like, why can't I see it? It's hiding. 
819, which I think, yep, that goes right there. Here's our first AB, AB995, which is a really pretty blue. I don't think I've seen that blue in an AB. I'm going to set that one off to the side so we can look at that one separately. Off to the side over here. Yeah, right there works. Uh, we've got our 3609, 798, which I think I already have done a 798. Yep, we're going to put that one down there. AB5200, which is probably one of a more common ABs. So I'm going to put this one over here as well. 3608, two more bags of 3608, which again, I think I've already done this one. Uh, we're going to just put this down here. Maybe I haven't, but I did a 3609. 333, three. there's going to be a lot of purples when you see the image or when you see the actual thing. 553, five, I don't think I've seen a 553. Five, five, I've seen a lot of 550. 211, pale lavender color. 209. I like that in an AB is a really pretty color. 208, another really gorgeous one. 3609, which goes right here with more 3609. 3713. I know I'm running out of space, you guys. Running out of space. 3766. 799. Some of these I may have been repeating myself on. Oh well. 333, three, three. I know I did say that one. That one's going to go right there. 340, I have not said that one. 827. 3746. Running out of space. I'm just going to start putting them down. Then we have 818. Start putting them wherever. Ooh, more bags of the AB520. Then we have more of the 819, which is right here. 3823. Oh, it, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> AB210. Look at how many bags of this AB210. I have never seen this much of an AB before. Like, that is crazy. How many bags of this do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags of AB210. That is a lot of AB, but beautiful color. So these are our three ABs. I'm going to set them off to the side, and I'm going to clear up all of these and put them back in the bag. Well, I'm going to be hitting this up like immediately so that I can work on this because I'm doing this for this event this summer. Like, well, this, well, obviously this summer, but for Sailor Summer uh, 23, which is going on right now in August, and I need to kit this up so I can get going on it. Ah! So, I will put these all away, and you will see the beauty of this canvas. Right now. You ready for this? Here we go. That is the bottom. We will be getting our first look. So, here we look at the top. Here is our image. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I know this is a tall, uh, skinny image. I'll give you guys a look at it sideways because you'll be able to see the full image in here sideways. Look at this, this is gorgeous. I'm excited for it. I think, like, I wonder, is this entire background in AB? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Ah, AB 210. Yes, that's literally this entire background is gonna be an A B. Oh my goodness, that makes my that's my makes my blingy soul happy. Ah, that means I don't have to like bling up this whole thing any like because that entire background is gonna be an A B. I don't have to bling this thing up. It's already the thing is already gonna be blinged. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and get into this so I can show you guys a little bit more now that you've seen the full image. So here we go. You've got Jaded Gem Shop, uh, and here's. That's her Instagram, also jadedgemshop.com. And then of course on uh, YouTube, you've got Jadykins, Jaded Gem Shop right there. Here's your branding, uh, Jaded Gem Shop. I like this, like the little extra um, step she did to add this green all the way around. Usagi City artist, Tres Gatos, Tierra Gatos, Tres Gatos is how I kind of want to say it. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, I'm gonna do this so you can actually see Sailor's Sailor Moon's face. This is Usagi City. So you can see there she is. She's got her umbrella, which anyone who's familiar with any with uh, Japanese culture in particular, but a lot of the um, like a number of Asian cultures, but particularly Japanese culture. Um, 
the paler your skin, the better. So when you go outside in the sun, you have to use, well, you don't have to, but it's, uh, most women will use an umbrella when they go out in the sun to protect their uh, complexion from the sunshine. And even in the heat of summer, you'll wear long sleeves to again, protect your skin uh, from the sun and keep the pale, pale skin tones. Uh, because if you had a darker skin tone, um, it was because you were working outside and you were a laborer. Uh, so it kind of like, there's a whole uh, piece to it, but basically your pale, the pale skin tone is prized uh, and you protect your pale skin and keep it away from the elements via, you know, an umbrella when you walk outside. So it's not abnormal when you're in Japan to see uh, women walking around in 90 degree weather in Okinawa where it's very, very hot and humid. It's not uncommon it's actually completely normal to see the women wearing using an umbrella in the heat of summer to protect themselves from the sun or in a, a parasol, however you want to consider it. And then wearing long sleeves. They'll have like, they'll be wearing a short sleeve shirt, but then they'll have extra sleeves that they'll pull up over their arms to protect their arms from the sun so they don't have to worry about any tan lines or anything like that because you don't want those. Um, but look at her. She is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Uh, and as we work our way down... Uh, you've got the image coming all the way down, and look at the lovely kitty. Oh my goodness. Isn't she the cutest little cat? Uh, and then you've got the moon. Of course, you have to throw in the element of the moon, the game shop. Very, very fun. And then uh, with this kit, you have the schematic right here, which is perfect because I'm actually going to be working on this kit sideways because that's how I work on all my kits, so that actually works out. Um, the canvas has, a, it's a sparkly canvas with like that creepy soft backing. Everybody, you guys know I'm like a texture person and this has that creepy soft backing, which 99.9% .9 of diamond painters enjoy. I think I'm like the one person that finds this soft backing creepy, uh, <laughs> but it's a texture thing for me. Um, but it's that nice soft backing that everybody loves. Uh, your edges have the scalloped edges, the poked edging. The drills look really, really nice. I'm gonna leave it at this angle here for, for us as we go looking for the rest of our ABs. Uh, as I already said when I looked at this, this massive string of beauty in this 210 is essentially what you're gonna see in all of the background. That's gonna be this string of AB. You're also gonna see our other two ABs that we have. We have our uh, 5200. So our 5200 AB is going to be in, uh, that is, oh, that's so cute. It's like a little person symbol. So the person symbol are, it's going to be Sailor uh, Moon's uh, skirt and her socks, the white that you see there and a little bit kind of accenting random spots right through here that you're gonna see some people, uh, like they're, they're, they are little people. The symbol is little people. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And then up into, right up in here, you've got some little, anywhere that needs a splash of like white to accent. So up in the stars, you've got splashes of white. I may add in, like I may add some, if I have an AB color that matches right there, 38, 23, I'll have to look. I may make like the moon, I may accent that with an AB. Uh, I will pull out and probably add some extra. <laughs> just, I can't, I can't resist. Uh, so I may do that with some of like the yellow in there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but like when I say people, like literally, let me show you like in her shoes, the symbol for the 5200 is a little person. That is so cute. Uh, I'll show you guys a close up of some of these symbols in a minute. And then our last AB is AB995, this beautiful deep blue. And that is going to be the regular clover shape and that I assume is going to be up into here yes that is so that's the underside of her umbrella that you're seeing this blue right here of the umbrella that right there and this right here that is the blue that you're seeing and yeah I think it's just that one because that's a spade I believe that's a spade I have to look at it closer I'm looking at it from a little what to me is a really far distance so let me turn it this way and take a close up look and bring you guys up to my viewing distance. Yes. So look at the clarity of 
those symbols. Look at that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that's like, there's going to be some confetti around her hair and around her face which you guys know what I think about confetti, but I feel like it's necessary to give us the detail that we want. So there is the AB, that blue right there, that's gonna be our AB. And those symbols look like they're gonna be clear enough to read. Look, a little stick figure, I like it. Uh, even the at, the, like the funky, almost an, it's not an at symbol, like with the little swooshy thingy of her, uh, her jacket, like looks good. So that's some good clarity on all of these. So they're kind of some interesting symbols. I'm not seeing any like numbers or letters or anything, but hey, I'm, as long as I can recognize the symbol and put the thingies down onto the symbols, we is good to go. Uh, and then they're completely different colors, so it's not gonna be an issue. But the only thing that does look similar out of this entire kit looking at it is you know you've got like these three leaf clovers and then down here you've got a spade. And it, But you can see they do look different but if you're not looking at it closely, you can see how that spade and that three leaf clover, if you're not paying attention and you're me and you easily make mistakes from a distance, they can look similar. When you look at it from down here, they can kind of look similar, but up close, they look totally different. So that's not an issue. Let's look at our little kitty cat. And I'm gonna apologize to Sophie over at the Diamond Help Desk, who is totally a Sailor uh, Moon fanatic. I personally did not grow up watching Sailor Moon. Uh, I grew up, um, I think she was a little after my time. I did not grow up watching Sailor Moon. I grew up with um, Looney Tunes. Uh, Animaniacs was about as far as we went. Super, like, I didn't grow up with Sailor Moon. We didn't really watch anime when I was growing up because that would require having cable and I grew up in the middle of nowhere and we had like three TV channels. But look at the cute kitty cat. Oh, that's like a little raindrop. Okay. So cute. Look at it. I'm excited. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to kit it up. Ah, so enjoyable. But this is adorable. I am super excited. This is my first Jada Gym Shop kit to work on. Here is that full view image again for you all. This is again, this is Usagi City by the artist Trace Gatos from Jada Gem Shop. And this is a 40 by 70. And I did get the three, the AB pack to get the three ABs in it. And I'm so glad that I did. Cause I mean like, oh my gosh, so much AB, the entire background, AB, ah, anyways. <sighs> I'm looking forward to this. I can't wait to show you guys progress on it. I was worried that I wouldn't be able, that it would turn out being too big. But this is like a perfect size because of like the height. It's a perfect size because this is not going to be horrible to work on uh, size wise. And I think this is going to be a blast. I can't wait to see how she turns out. Um, I think it's going to be so adorable, so cute. And I'm excited to show you guys how she works up. The plastic is a nice thick plastic. Uh, there is a little bit of the, uh, the overage, but I don't really pay care about that because I put my washi tape around the edges because I like putting cute washi tape around the edges. And, uh, like, there's a really good stick to that. And uh, I'm ecstatic. This is going to be so much fun. Yay. Anyways, I think that's enough for you all. I need to kid her up. Woo. And look forward to seeing some posts. And the, the, uh, if you have not already seen some progress posts, look forward to keep seeing some pro progress posts for this lovely uh, coming out shortly. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.